Acumatica's new user interface. Acumatica 2017 R2 features a new user interface, which makes navigation more intuitive and improves the efficiency by providing rapid access to commonly used screens. The new UI includes user-based customization features so non-technical individuals with proper permissions can tailor their user experience. Within the new UI, you get a list of workspaces in the left-hand menu. The new UI is designed to maximize your work area. If you need to, you can create icons to further maximize the area, or you can even dock your menu to maximize the work area that you have. The logo in the upper left hand corner is your home button. You can configure this to point to any dashboard, report, or Acumatica screen. The new UI is completely configurable, so you can just streamline your work process. You can define favorites by navigating to a screen and clicking the star next to the entry. This gives you a quick and easy way to navigate to commonly used screens. Workspaces replace modules and suites from the old user interface. A workspace is a configurable menu that includes forms and reports that are organized by functional area. Workspaces can be created and modified to suit the needs of individual users. Both individual users and administrators can modify and customize workspaces. Individual users have the ability to define which workspaces appear in their main menu and which workspaces appear here in the more items area. If marketing is important, I can dock that to my main menu. Just like if it's not important, I can easily add it back so that it appears in the more items area. Each workspace consists of a quick menu, as well as a list of all items that are contained. By clicking this gear button, individual users can control which screens and links and reports appear in the quick menu. Since I'm logged in as an administrator, I have access to the Edit Menu button at the bottom. This gives me the ability to modify existing workspaces and add new workspaces. To add a new workspace, I simply define an icon, pick an area where that's going to appear, and pick a title. Now I have a new workspace that's basically a canvas where you can add tiles and menu items. To add a tile, I click the Add Tile button and fill out some simple parameters. Similarly, I can add menu items. And just like that, I've created a new workspace that becomes available for users with proper permissions. As an administrator, I can also modify existing workspaces by clicking the pencil button. I can also go in and change the tiles or the links. Changing tiles provides this option to change a parameter. Parameters are important because they are tacked on to the URL that defines which screen I land on. If needed, I can change the parameter so that instead of creating a new invoice, I'd create a new credit memo when I click the specific button. Within a workspace, screens are organized by categories. If needed, you can add categories in the menu settings in the upper corner. This allows me to configure how my screens, reports, and dashboards are organized. The search bar at the top of the screen has also been improved. I can start typing and immediately all screens with that information become available. If I need to narrow my entry, I continue typing and I can with one click navigate to any screen. If I want to find specific data records, I can click on the transactions and profile areas. This allows me to enter invoice number, customer names, product descriptions, almost anything in Acumatica is searchable. The help articles area contains documentation and links to specific articles that contain the text that you see here. And finally, the files area contains links to documents that contain the search terms. Online help is available by clicking the question mark in the top banner. If the working pane contains an Acumatica form, then the system displays contextual help articles that are related to that form. If the working pane contains a reporter dashboard, then the system displays the help dashboard. Thank you for watching. For more details about the Acumatica UI, contact us to receive additional documentation.